Well, there it is. No hot water. We're going to hook up a line, water hose, and you, when you hook it up, you come in here, get a screwdriver, turn that, open this valve, and we'll drain it out. But first, we'll have to turn that handle, and we'll cut that water off, and we'll open this valve or turn on a faucet in the house, and we'll go ahead and empty this. Then we're going to go to the store and get, we'll get one that says 4,500 watts, 240. That's what we need. These will probably last longer. There's a pack over here. But these are not, this is a one year warranty. And I don't think I need to replace those. we we'll deal with this one. Seems a little cheaper than, seems a little cheaper than this one. So I'll go ahead and go with this one. Get two of these. Comes with the uh, gasket. So we'll get two of these. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a hose and then we'll turn off, we'll shut that valve off, we'll turn that valve, unplug this, and then we'll come down here and we'll get a screwdriver. We'll turn this and open it and we'll drain it out. So we'll start by hooking the hose up. Before we open this valve, we're gonna shut this valve off and disconnect. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the electric too. Now, when this, this thing drains, when you open the valve, but the problem is you will have a vacuum that, that's a pulling effect if you don't open this release valve. So we want this thing to flow. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll go up here. We're gonna turn this valve. So now that we turned it, it's closed. I'm gonna go ahead, and disconnect this 240. So now we don't have any electricity going to it, hopefully. And we'll check it again when we get in there. I got it full blast open. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and pull this up. I just flipped it up. As you can hear, the water is now flowing out. This is our line. Flow out, okay? Just like that. While that's draining out, while everything's off, we're gonna go ahead and take this panel off. So we'll go ahead and start with the top one. Maybe this one seals and it's just the one on the bottom. Maybe you should open the bottom. Yeah, let me open the bottom. Let's take a look at the bottom first. Go ahead. Okay. Guys, I screwed up. You don't have to cut the edges. I thought you had to pull this whole thing out. Just pull this out. Take all this out. It would have went off. There's nothing going to it. Okay, so we don't have any power going to this thing. Here's your thermostat. Okay. You can reset your thermostat. Close to 125. A little less than 125. You bump that up to 125. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect these. We know where that one goes. Only two wires. You just want to make sure that power's off. That's the big concern. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it, but I gotta use a little PB blaster to... 
So we're going with the 38. How to step it up with the with the uh, leverage bar. So so ah, finally got movement. Work that heating element out. Look at this guy. Look at that. I don't even know if this is salvageable. I'm gonna try to flush it out, but I don't know what if I can get that all that stuff out of there. There's a lot of junk in there. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna put this bucket here. I'm gonna turn the water on. And I'm gonna try to get it all out. So we're running water. We're just flushing this thing. Flush it and then stop it. I got a lot out. Look at this crap. That's a lot of stuff. We got a lot of flushing to do. Look at all that. I don't know if we're going to get it all out. We're going to try. We're going to flush as much as we can. Things we do. This is what happens when you don't have a, a water softener on your house either. You just have all this junk this is all sediment just built up look at that. this is the, this is the uh way we got to do things look at that. So we got this pretty low. There's still some stuff in there. We're gonna put some vinegar in there to break up the calcium and uh, try to get this line flowing again because it's it's backed up down low. So we're gonna get that all cleaned out before we uh, go on to the next step. So this water line has trickled down and we have got the water level lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some vinegar in there and we're gonna let it sit for a day we're about to go to houston so we're gonna let this sit for a day hopefully it'll dissolve and we can run it out the line that'd be that'd be that'd be great white vinegar we already got bubbling so we got a reaction going after it gets a little lower i'm gonna close off this valve and i'm gonna let that sit for a couple of days then I'm gonna come back and drain it out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this new one back on. Uh, again, this is a 4,500 watt, 240 volt. I got this for about 20 bucks, Home Depot. It does come with the, uh, the little gasket on there. So we're gonna put a little of this rector seal, pipe thread sealant. This is for plastic and metal, okay. So remember it says rector seal, not rectum seal. So be careful, okay? Put that in there. Get that get it started. Get it going. Go ahead and tighten it down. Put that on there. I'm just getting it nice and snug. Nice and snug on there. So we're gonna go ahead and connect our terminals. So Oops. 
We're gonna have to replace this uh, single. Yeah. This is what we need. All right. We're gonna go ahead and change out the thermostat as well. Mine as well. So it's always good to take a picture of this, but it's basically that one, that one. Those go on the top, and then these go on the bottom. So you can take a picture of that if you want. We are gonna take these off and lift this up, put the new thermostat in, and reconnect it. So we loosen that one, that one, that one, and this one. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one out of the way. This one out of the way. So all you need to do is just pry this thing up out. And we're gonna get it right on 125. Just a little cover. Okay, so we're gonna fill it up twice, let it drain out twice. Then we're gonna close the valve, fill it back up again, and then plug it in. And then we should be good to go. So as you can see, we have it on. Uh, when I open this relief valve, it'll drain even faster. There's going to be no suction. There's no suction pulling on it. I have the valve open, and I'm just letting this, all this vinegar and all the stuff we put in there just flow out. So, all right. We're going to do that. Just let it run, and then we'll drain it, and then fill it up for good. We're going to go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this valve. And that's it. So we'll go ahead and plug our 240 in. Plug our power in. We'll give that about an hour. We should have some hot water. If you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll see all the videos. Take care.